You see that? Not good. We're flying home today. Um, there's a little bit of a concern. Uh, not, not a big one. But Savannah was able to get one of her two boarding passes and I was able to get zero. Uh, and there was no explanation why. It just said that we just have to get them at the airport. I'm sure everything will be fine, but uh, there is a little bit of a concern. Uh, just, just, just a little bit. There's a lot of moving parts. Two boats, a car, and two planes to catch before we get home. Very excited to go home. And you could probably already tell by the lens, but it's very, very humid right now. That, we, um, that I couldn't get my boarding passes. There were a couple of reasons. One of the reasons was extra security, and that typically happens when you travel to a bunch of different countries. You just randomly get flagged. The second, there's no like rhyme or reason for it. When we got to the airport, that's actually exactly what it was. There were four S's on you my see boarding that? pass. Not good. Basically, that's meaning that they had to search everything, open up everything, uh, do like a full body pat down. Just the, the whole nine yards, and coming from TSA pre-check, where I barely have to take, like, I don't even have to take my shoes off, it was, a uh, well, it was an adventure. But we got through that, and actually we found out that this airport, Blazer, has, has a lounge in the attic, and there's, there's no drinks, you have to pay for the drinks, and there's, like, fruit cups, and that's just pretty much it, but compared to a lounge, compared to no lounge, I'll, I'll take, take the lounge. They do have these comfortable chairs, but... flight from the Bahamas to Miami was only like 30 minutes, um, but we're finally here in the lounge and we've actually spent multiple days in this lounge in the last like three months because we've had flight cancellations and everything else at any event. We're, we're here, I've, I've had food, two coffees, a cookie, and, and pudding, but um, also going back through customs, I, I got flagged again so I had to like have another pat down, so I've been patted down twice today, uh, which, you know, that's all that to be said. We're, we're back in the United States, and now we're just, we're waiting for our next flight, which is in like five hours, and we have, we have a shower in like like 30 minutes to an hour, uh, which is nice, because it was like, we had to walk to 50 gates to get back to the, back to the lounge. <sighs> Normally with these, these airports, all the showers are a little bit different, but the one thing that's universal is the time limit is always the same. It's normally 30 minutes, but for this shower, I guess it's it's only 15, but I guess the, that, that kind of makes sense because there's only one shower for the entire lounge. Uh, but because of that, this shower is a million times better than any other shower that I've used at an airport. Normally it's kind of like the equivalent of like a port, if a porta potty was was a shower, that's kind of like the same like level of, uh, that, 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 but, but this one's much nicer. When we started traveling more, we really debated on uh, on if we should get a travel credit card that would allow us to get into like lounges and get us like certain status with rental car companies. And for the longest time, we put it off and we just said that was an unnecessary expense. But about a year and a half ago, we just decided to, to commit to it for a year and see if it actually uh, made our, our travel like objectively better or was the like $700 a year like not even worth it. And to be honest, I thought originally that I was going, we were going to have it for a year and then just cancel it the, the following year, but that's, that hasn't been the case at all. Like we use it for pretty much everything that when we travel, we use it for hotels, rental cars, and airport lounges. And I will say, Unequivocally, that if you travel at all, the uh, the little any travel card that gives you any kind of status is 100%, 100% worth it. We pay like a fraction of what we would normally pay for rental cars. Uh, we get like status with with hotels, and then like the the lounges and stuff. But I, I, it's worth it if you can if you can afford it. It's definitely. And honestly, when I was like when I was going through all of the all of the extra security stuff, it was kind of annoying. But uh, in the back of my head, I, I just. 
there was a, there was an ease because I knew that once I got past that, I would be able to just like relax and like kind of like knowing that I had like a lounge with like a shower and everything else waiting. It was kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's it's things like that that make me really really appreciate having having a card, even when you're like a security risk or where that's actually what it said. It said if you have a triple S's or quadruple S's, you're a security risk. <laughs> Thank you.